Hello hello, welcome back to this channel, NAW32. In this video we are going to unbox and review CPU cooler from ID Cooling, SE214XT. We will test this CPU cooler on AMD Ryzen 5 5 600 C P U and compare with stock CPU cooler from AMD the Wraith Stealth. For the stress test, we are going to use Prime95 software to reach maximum temperature of the CPU. Stay tuned, and we will see the comparison. The SE214XT is the cheap entry-level CPU cooler from ID Cooling. This unit I unboxed is standard version. For a few bucks more you can get the ARGB fan version which can sync with your motherboard RGB. The SE214XT CPU cooler support Intel LGA1700, 1200, 115X sockets, and AMD AM4, AM5 sockets. Let's prepare the test. Before the test and compare the CPU coolers. I will set the RPM of the CPU cooler fan to maximum RPM in BIOS. As you can see the maximum CPU fan RPM is 2054 RPM for the stock cooler. To test the maximum temperature of the CPU, we will use Prime95 software for CPU stress test. As you see, on CPU CCD1, when using stock cooler. Minimum CPU temperature when idle is 52.8 degrees Celsius. And the current CPU temperature is approximately 55.3 degrees Celsius. Let's start the Prime95 software for CPU stress test.
As you can see, on CPU CCD1, in just few seconds after running the Prime 95 software, the maximum temperature of the CPU has reached above 95 degrees Celsius. And the CPU speed doesn't reach more than 4 GHz. Now we are going to test the ID Cooling SE214 XT CPU cooler. Just like when testing the CPU maximum temperature on the stock cooler, the SE214 XTID Cooling Cooler CPU stress test also used Prime95 software. As you see, on CPU CCD1. When using the cooler SE214 XT, the minimum CPU temperature when idle is 38.8 degrees Celsius. And after stress test using Prime95 software for about 10 minutes, the maximum temperature of the CPU reached 83.8 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature is lower than using stock cooler. Conclusion, Stock Cooler Wraith Stealth vs. SE214-Z on AMD Ryzen 5, 5, 600, stress test using Prime95. On Stock Cooler Wraith Stealth, CPU minimum temperature when idle is 52.8 degrees Celsius and CPU maximum temperature reached 95.8 degrees Celsius. On ID Cooling SE214-XT, CPU minimum temperature when idle is 38.8 degrees Celsius and CPU maximum temperature is 83.8 degrees Celsius. CPU boost speed also higher when using SE214XE cooler. I think, based on the test results, it is worth it if we replace the stock cooler to a better one like XE214XT. Even though the price is cheap, it is good enough to cool Ryzen 5 5600. Okay thank you for watching this video.